In honor of Chinese New Year, I'd like you to do a Chinese dragon in your sketchbook. Um, in the old stories about dragons in Europe, um, the dragons are almost always uh, bad. They, um, they burn the villages and steal the princesses and things like that. In Asia, the dragons um, sometimes can be um, helpful or good. Mostly they're not, but um, sometimes they can be. And there are different, um, they have different powers. The most powerful uh, dragon in um, China is the imperial dragon who has uh, five claws. You can tell their power by their claws. So he has power over the north, south, east, west, and the sky. This looks like a, this looks like a four clawed dragon. Um, <clears throat> so um, here he is uh, from the front breathing smoke. And uh, I thought this one was kind of kind of fun, and um, that would fit in your sketchbook. This one has um, a black and white uh, dragon, and then this dragon is done like um, he was made out of sunset clouds. Here's a good dragon. I think this is a Japanese dragon. And he looks like he's got um, three claws, but in this story, he's actually uh, rescuing the, those people and being uh, being good, repaying a, repaying a debt. Now here's, um, here's a line drawing of a dragon and it's uh, symmetrical. He looks like an imperial dragon. He's got five, uh, five claws there. I thought this one was fun. It was like a, it's like a dog. And this uh, stylized one is more like the masks that the Chinese wear on the, for the dragon masks where they make the parade in Chinese New Year. So you could do you could do that as well. And there's a brush painting um, brush painting dragon. So um, there he is, disguised, I think. So in your sketchbook, give it a try. Make up because nobody's ever seen one really. So make up what you think a Chinese dragon would look like.